good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have action figure appointment episode, whatever the number hell episode this is. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know action figure appointment is a slimmed down, watered down version, or a shorter version, I should say. Not watered down, because we're still bringing the epicness. Dr. Whitekiss here in the office, always bringing the heat here in the action figure appointments. But you guys know that this show is more for basic swaps or things that are not going to be a full-length episode. If you guys watched the last action figure surgery we did, all kinds of shit. We're talking paint and seal and acetone and it was like 30 minutes long. So that's what action figure episode surgeries are for. This is for appointments, all right? This is where you come in, you get a little checkup, I get your shit going, and we send your ass right off back the door. So for today, we have a few switches and swatches that we're gonna be getting into. So let's go ahead and dive into it first. Right here, you guys will see, I have this Elite Series 75 Jeff Hardy. If you guys remember my last toy hunt, another thing about action figure appointment is we're trying to get in and out in like 12 minutes or less. So let's see if we can make that ish happen here today. So we have our Elite 75 Jeff Hardy right here, and the swap that I wanna do, since I have so many of these like no bull crap look at this let me you know what let me just go ahead and do it if we if we back up a little and we zoom in over there you see that you see all those jeff hardys and matt hardys they have to sit right there because i have nowhere else for them to go the whole jeff hardy shelf is completely full and i have nowhere else the matt hardys too matt hardys are full freaking jeff hardys over there taking up all the space man I mean, my God, I have no, you see, I have two more Elite 75s. I have a few more on the shelf. So over here today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. And we are going to be head swapping this Elite 75 Jeff Hardy because I do want to change it up a little bit. Now, what I'm thinking for this guy is putting on the entrance grates head sculpt. And I think this will be, oh my God, oh my God, the illusion's dead. Anyways, you switch this head sculpt right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's go ahead and zoom in shot right here. You guys will see the Elite 75 Jeff Hardy head sculpt does have purple hair. So does the entrance grates. You guys will see these little blue tones. You see the blue tones through here. You got some black going on. You got some purple and everything. I think this head sculpt will fit perfectly in because all that blue tone on his face paint matches the blue arm paint right here. And not only that, I could leave it as it is, but I am going to switch out the right arm with the Survivor Series Elite. So this arm right here will go on there with this blue arm paint. It's not very much different. And the green will tie in. The black will tie in. The blue on the little under thing there, the little elbow wrap or whatever that is will fit as well with the blue and the purple tones here fitting in with the arm sleeves and fitting in with the rest of the attire i think it's a pretty sick swap i think it's going to be all right i don't think anybody else has done it so we are going to do both of those swaps and i think it will be super duper fire another thing i wanted to show you guys is look at this jeff hardy head sculpt off the elite 71 the little interchangeable head sculpt i took this red hair piece from the wrestlemania 35 battle pack jeff hardy and edge two pack and i put this like this and how weird and crazy does this mother effer look right here how sick nasty farticles does that look he looks insane i think that looks sick i kind of want to glue that to that and then put that on a figure because it looks just so I don't know it just looks so wacky let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below but other than that we do have my boy Orange Cassidy in the house and what we're going to be doing with him is we're going to attempt to finally make this man shorter okay you guys have known you saw him at Hell's Gate you saw him all over the place every video he's in he's way too tall and today we're going to finally adjust that man and get him on the right track to where he's supposed to be going so that's what our plans are here today is it going to work out I do not no, I do know one thing. Lieutenant Dan Naked Seth Rollins right here is no longer naked and he's no longer, he doesn't have any freaking shins or feet. So we have to get the shins and feet off of this guy, put him over here to, you know, to rebuild him, put the lower legs of this Chad Gable onto this uh, Orange Cassidy, and then we're probably going to have to cut a hole into these shins and shove those shoes right up into those shins, and hopefully it works out. You know, we may run into some, some BS, but we're going to attempt it here today. Hopefully everything works out, but I, got, I just realized that I'm missing the feet for this guy, so I am going to have to dive in my fodder boxes, find the feet, and get everything going, but first of all, we do have to do a head swap and arm swap with our Jeff Hardy so I guess that will be our first business here on action figure appointment episode whatever the hell this number is so let's scoot everything back let's go ahead and get Jeff Hardy we have our title for Seth Rollins once he is finished for you know naked Rollins we have our towel right there we got this little head sculpt that can go away for now but what we're gonna do is we also have to be careful with this necklace you do not want to heat that up and ruin that because that's one of the best features of the elite 75 Jeff Hardy but let's go ahead and put the arm right here we'll go ahead and put this arm right there go ahead and get the head 
scope going. We'll put that down and we will zoom in shot here and then we are going to head swap this Jeff Hardy. I think it's actually going to be a pretty fire swap with all the colors and stuff. Everything should work out. We got the white trusty hair dryer in the house and we're going to go ahead and heat this hoe up and while it's heating up I'm going to go ahead and look for the feet that go on our Seth Naked Rollins. Alright guys, I could not find the feet just yet, so I guess I'll just have to wait to the next one, but doing this arm swap and stuff should be relatively easy. This Jeff Hardy arm will go in the Jeff Hardy fodder bag, but switching this green arm over to there, and then this head sculpt is pretty, uh, you know, the peg holes, yeah, we got it. Alright, we got it, so I didn't have to worry about that, but popping this on here, and then we'll take a closer look at this Jeff at the end. Oh my god, he's on fire. We'll take a closer look at him at the end, but for now, we are going to take our Jeff Hardy fodder right here and slide that over to the side, and we are going to move on to our Chad Gable, which we need the lower legs off of, and this freaking Orange Cassidy figure is actually going to be a hoe because we have to take his freaking clothes off, and I really don't want to do that, honestly. It's going to suck eggs. So, basically, we took the lower legs of the Jax UFC figure, and we put them on this, uh, the Orange Cassidy, I think it's a Daniel Bryan figure under here, and it, you know, the shins are just way too long, man. It just doesn't work out. Um, you guys can see there, there's the peg hole going into that shin. And uh, that pops off like that. His glasses flew all over the damn place, so that's pretty cool. So I got the one shoe off. Got to get the other shoe off, because after that, this is Jason Jordan boots, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Oh my God, that was freaking hard. So what we're gonna do is slide these pants off, and I gotta tell you, man, these pants were very, very difficult to get onto this figure. So hopefully they're not as difficult going back on since the legs aren't as long, but they are, you know, really, really thick. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. Damn, that's a thick ass ball. Damn. All right, so I mercifully got the pants off. Now, again, we do have to remove these lower legs, and I should be able to see here that these are, yeah, the, like so much shorter, man. Like, look at this. This is where the top of the knee is. Look at that right there where that foot ends. So, yeah, this adds a whole, like, this This adds a whole, like, almost full inch and a half onto the figure. So if we can somehow maneuver this and get this to work, it is going to shorten up the Orange Cassidy figure a lot, and it's actually going to make it a 100 times better. So hopefully we can make Make that work here today and we're going to attempt our best here so while we're at it we might as well get our Rollins right here because we do have to pop those legs on there and what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the lower legs of the Cassidy the lower legs of the Chad Gable and then what we're going to have to do is probably get my my uh, trusty knife saw off the peg and then uh, use a screwdriver to go up in there it's going to you know it's kind of going to be like surgery but uh, it's going to be on an action figure appointment so let's just go ahead and heat this issue up see what we got going on and see if we can make it work all right guys i did find the feet so hi suck on those eggs whore all right so right there we got that now we got to pop off our chad gable lower legs get the pegs out, put them over there, get this over there. And another thing, while we're while we're talking about Chad Gable right here, guys, I do I do know that, you know, the monthly battle royals, they are coming back. I just wanted to take a break on those because they were kind of getting repetitive. I want to take a little break on them, but they are coming back. Chad Gable's actually still the reigning defending MDT monthly battle royal champion. So, uh, we will get back to those very shortly, but I did want to let you guys know a little update on that and tell you guys that uh, I'll probably do that at the end of April right there. So you guys can look forward to that. We probably need to do a really big one since we've been missing out. I kind of want to add like a special stipulation or something. Trying to get the, you know, the Jax UFC legs on here. I need to order some more of these because I want to make some more Matt Riddles before we get that Elite 78. I mean, who the hell knows when we're going to get the Elite 78, right? So we do need to plug this peg in here just like we did on the other side. Hopefully the feet go up in there. You know, they, they were under the, you know, the heat there. My back's itching and I can't scratch it. So like I'm trying to wiggle behind the camera looking like a dumb idiot Jax ass pushing this peg oh my god in heaven pushing that peg through there you know sometimes i don't even know what i say until i'm in there editing and then i'm just like good god what the hell is i even saying so right there pushing the peg hole through just like so and then taking the foot you got the left foot yeah pushes up in there and then the right foot pushes up in there i can already see the 12 minutes is probably i don't know i'm not gonna jinx it but there we go seth naked rollins right there coming back up very happy to put naked rollins back in the collection here and bam there you go naked rollins back in the collection you love to see that 
I fell off that, that stretcher back there. But anyways, coming back to Orange Cassidy, we do have to get this, you know, hopefully my paint heads or my head over there is not chipping off because I really don't want that to happen. But let's go ahead and pop off these boots. Uh, that was the left foot, I think, or the left leg. I know they don't match in skin tone, but that really doesn't matter because now they're not freaking heated up enough, you know? And you know what, Brad? That sucks. Can I still get it? No, because you're a failure. All right, so we're going back over here. We got to get the, again, I don't really care that the uh, that the skin tones don't match the Daniel Bryan and the Chad Gable because it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because all we're going to do is cover them with pants. Now, one thing I will notice that's probably going to be an issue already is these calves are effing thick, boy. Damn. So you know what that means? Damn, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. That means that these skinny jeans right here are probably not going to go over it, and that makes me sick. Damn, I have to heat this back up. I hate myself. All right, guys, I got my trusty tools over here. I got an ice pick. I got freaking, uh, oh, God dang in heaven, boy. That was hot as fire. I got it in there, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God in heaven, this thing's hot. I probably, I, I, you know what, Brad? You left it on there too hot, all right? You left it on there way too long, and now you're paying the consequences of your actions. Jesus, Lord, damn. Okay, I think I got it. Did I get it? Okay. Ugh. All right, I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. I think I got it. How many times can you say it, you dumb idiot? All right, so what we're going to do right here is we're going to take the trusty knife, going to slowly but surely slice off this peg and burn the hell out of my finger. All right, here we go. Saw this off here. Go to the other side. Saw this off here, just like so, just like we want to see. Then we're going to go back over here with our screwdriver, and we're going to drive this into the underside of this leg and kind of screw that in right there. Kind of, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, put a, put a little pressure on there. Not a ton but you know just a little bit turn that while you're pushing in there a little bit don't slip and stab yourself all right that's the last thing you want all right that's not working very well we're going to slowly but surely push this ice pick in here it's a lot more sharp so definitely be careful if you're trying this at home along with me you know what don't attempt this if you're if you're under the age of 18 unless you have a parent or guardian's permission this is some this is a action figure appointment boy we had to put this man to sleep to do this surgery uh, where the hell are the jason jordan shoes okay where the hell did they go for real though Oh, damn. Oh, they're right here on the stretcher, you stupid idiot. All right, here we go. We gotta make sure this gonna, oh my God, that's not going in there, you dumb jackass. This is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a process. You know what, Brad? Gotta go to the Dremel. Jesus Lord. I mean, damn, boy, we turned this into a surgery for real. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Dremel right here and we're going to remove this top right here. We're going to move over to this top, which is going to be sort of a drill slash like digging in tool. And we're going to turn that hoe up and we're going to shove this hoe up in here like take the shanks off. Boom. Right there. You see that little hole? All right. If this were heated up, I don't know if that would go in there. Probably not. I don't know. It might. Oh, shit. It actually seems like it might right there, but it's not deep enough. And my damn battery's dying. Christ. Oh, man. All right. So this is where we are, guys. The pants will not go over the thing. I mean, I've sat here and tried. I mean, if I sat here, you know, little by little, like, and tried to, you know, slide them up little by little, I probably could. But I still have not yet gotten the peg holes in there. I got really, really close to getting the peg holes in there. Um, you guys can see here, but my Dremel died, and I gotta wait for the battery to charge, so that is something that I'll have to do there. But I may actually have to wait until the uh, the Dremel charges, and what I'm gonna do is we'll probably continue this on action figure surgery. I'm gonna Dremel these damn calves down, bro, because they're way too thick. Damn. And that way the calves won't look really unnatural. We're gonna make this work. Like, I'm gonna make this work, but it can't be today because I can't find the freaking charger for it. And uh, we've already went over the damn limit, man. I already know action figure appointment turning into action figure surgery 2.0 or something like that. I mean, there's freaking Orange Cassidy shavings all over this damn arena right now. So the, the appointment is just all effed up. But you guys see what we're going with. I think it is going to work out when it's all said and done once we, you know, whatever. Uh, there is like a freaking hole in the crotch right there, which is unfortunate. I need somebody to come in there and stitch that up. But we will fix Orange Cassidy. We will get him going. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done here today on Action Figure Appointment. Let's go ahead and start with Jeff Hardy. 
I think it turned out flames, man. I really like the colors. I think the white with the face paint really looks sick. I like the, the lime green, the blues, the purple tones all really tie in nicely with the necklace. Um, I think if you painted the necklace, the you know, the green with the navy outline there, I think it would really look really good there. And uh, we, of course, have our Seth Naked Rollins or uh, Streak, Seth Streak and Rollins right there. And that is it, man. We, we've done this here on Action Figure Appointment. You know, it wasn't the greatest episode. I think we hit some road bumps there, but we did get our jobs completed. We got our two figures completed, and Orange Cassidy is going to be completed in no time, and it's going to be sick on the next action figure surgery. We'll dremel those calves down. We'll fit those pants custom fit. We'll get those shoes custom fit, and it's going to be a lot better. I think it's going to be really, really sick once that is all completed and, you know, every all the parts are working all together there in unison, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys have a great day. Give me a like. Comment down below what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.